Good morning. We're up to segment 17 in our Ask Zevi series. Wow, I'm impressed with myself. We're up to segment 17. That's 17 weeks straight, not a single week missed. Anyway, if you're a contractor in New York City, any of the five boroughs, I'm sure you've come across bringing in a new water and sewer service into one of your properties. Um, if you're subbing that out to a water main company, here are a couple of tips to look out for. Nobody likes these extra fees. Um, and here are some of the things to look out for, which I've seen in our experience. Um, number one, is it a protected street? Which means that if the street was redone in the last, I think it's five years in most boroughs, there's going to be extra cost associated with repaving the street where you can't just put a little square of top, black top in front of the property. You need to do lot line to lot line, and that's associated with a lot of extra cost. Another thing is time stipulations, which is uh, some streets uh, uh, don't allow you to work due to the different circumstances on that block. You can't work there from nine to five. So if you have shortened hours, that means there's more and more days on the project and the water main company will charge accordingly. Another thing is um, if there's a PLSP permit, plumbing sprinkler permit, which uh, requires an additional permit to be pulled Sometimes the water main company won't cover that, so that's an extra cost. It's good to be on top of that. Um, another common one is if there's an Alt-1 permit, which means that there's usually an existing water main that was there before and needs to be capped. So that's an extra expense. If you help with any of these, just shoot me an email or direct message me. 718-483-8556. Have a wonderful week.